Um, what we're going to be going over, Crystal, is Crystal, I'm expecting this. So next thing we're going to go, we're going to go over factoring. And ladies and gentlemen, I've gone over this and over and over this and over this and over this and over this. And I know some students are still having trouble with it. So I want to make sure that we get this foundation because as I mentioned, moving forward, it is essential that you guys understand this. So please remember that when we are saying factoring, when I am asking you to factor something, John, I am asking you to rewrite as a product, as multiplication. So let's do something that we're a little bit more familiar with. Molly, if I said take the number 8, which we've kind of already done. We did this when we were at If I said, can you rewrite the number 8 as a multiplication of two numbers, could you do that? Yes. 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 And you could say you could rewrite it as 4 times 2. And basically, Molly, what you did was you determined a number that divides into 8, which was 4, right? And that answer of 8 divided by 4 was 2. So you took the number that you divided by and you multiplied it by its quotient to give you back 8. Does that make sense what I did with a number? Yes. That's all we're doing with expressions. The first thing you want to do is determine what is something that divides into both expressions. And we call that our GCF. What is the greatest common factor? That means a number that divides into 16x as well as 48. Yes? Well, you could look at 8. 8 definitely divides into it. 2 definitely divides into it. 4 definitely divides into it. But the largest number that actually divides into it is 16. So now what we do, just like I did over here, I am going to take my GCF and I'm going to divide both of my terms by 16. Just like I did over here, I'm going to take my number, divide it by its factor. Now, I t now I'm going to take, so what did I divide by? Divide by 4. So now I'm going to write that as 4 times this. So this is 16 times, well, now we have an expression, so I'm going to put in parentheses. 16x divided by 16, it just leaves you with x. And negative 48 divided by 16 leaves you with now I have rewritten 16x minus 48 as the product of two numbers, or a product of two expressions. I'm sorry, say that again. 16? OK, look at it again. If I want to rewrite 8, if I want to rewrite 8 as a product, right? I want to rewrite the number 8 as a multiplication problem, right? So I take 8, I divide it by 4, and then I get answer. So I take what I divided by and what my answer was. And I take those two values and I multiply them. And that gives me a brand product. So what did I divide by? 16. What was my answer? x minus 3. Do you kind of see that? See how this is like the same as that? It's the same thing, except this is with a number and this is with expressions. <laughs> so basically, all I want you to do, Jake, is when you take your GCF, Whenever you divide your GCF, you're going to rewrite that multiplied by the quotient, what the answer is when you divide. Uh, all right. OK? I think I got you. All right. Maybe. Maybe.